Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I want to tell you about a very special variation that I'd like to refer to as the chest juice variation of the Knight of Sicilian. And uh, it starts this way. White plays e4, black plays c5, knight f3, d6, d4, takes, takes, knight f6, knight c3, a6. This is the knight of Sicilian. And now the move is h4. It's not a regular move. And I won't delve into all the details of what happens afterwards because they're still yet to be revealed and investigated in uh, practical games. However, I'll mention that uh, this line is extremely new and uh, it was uh, discovered uh, by myself and other Chess Juice members and the games that uh, currently uh, display this variation are by Chess Juice members. So the first one that I'm aware of, uh, that received uh, most of the attention, is by uh, international master Nitzan Steinberg, who was an extremely talented young player from Chess Juice, who's just uh, recently crossed 2,500, and uh, he's probably not even uh, looking back at that rating. He was 2,460 or something when we opened the channel, and now he's like 2,530 or so. And uh, he really excelled in Gibraltar, making draws with Vashiela Grav, also known as MVL, and Peter Swidler. And on top of that, he had a fantastic win uh, in this variation after 6h4, which was uh, analyzed by another chess YouTuber. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, after him, another member of the Chess Juice team played this variation. It's Ori Kobo. Uh, he was an international master until not so long ago and he fi finished all his grandmaster norm, uh, norms, let's say, and, uh, he, and he crossed 2500, so he's gonna be 20, he's gonna be a grandmaster very soon. And uh, I'm very happy about that. So another uh, member who improved very well and he managed to receive, uh, to achieve a, uh, a winning uh, position and uh, later on late and at the same tournament where Ori played it another member by the name of Omer Reshef another very talented young international master from Israel played this h4 move and now probably I would call it the best uh, uh, member of the chess juice team rating wise and bullet wise and many other on many other aspects Daniel Naroditsky has just played it uh, a few minutes ago in the US championship and they played it against Yaroslav Zerebuch a very strong player from the Ukraine so I don't see any better name to call this variation if, if it uh, increases in popularity and actually ends up receiving some name than the chess juice variation and actually I didn't get a chance to play it myself but uh, I uh, I don't know if I I won't take all the credit but I definitely uh, have uh, a decent amount of credit in discovering this uh, variation and uh, I won't involve all the names in the story but I'll tell you the the basics of this idea and what happened uh, that led to, to this amazing move. So I was uh, having a conversation with two other members and uh, then someone asked one of them, what are you guys up to? And uh, one of them answered uh, sarcastically, ah, nothing, just analyzing H4 against the Nidorf. And uh, while they were talking about other topics in the meantime probably something to do with the coming tournaments and flights and so on I actually thought the guy wasn't sarcastic so I opened up my uh, chess base program and I checked h4 with an engine and then, then I realized that against so many natural moves black can actually get into trouble 
and uh, while they were still talking I was interfering with the conversation and like saying guys H4 is not so bad actually and that guy who mentioned it he just admitted to being sarcastic and not really thinking it was uh, he was just trying to to make fun and uh, let's say to, to have fun and then we ended up just uh, talking about this line and thinking about different options and the result was that uh, all of us were inspired to play this line first chance we get and uh, the lucky number one was Nitzan Steinberg and this game he played was amazing it looks like a classical Capablanca win and uh, highly urge you to, to watch it and I'm recording this video before Daniel's game has actually finished but I'm very very hopeful that he will win and uh, if he does uh, then I'm even more hopeful that he will mention uh, that it has something to do with us and uh, then that uh, this amazing variation can uh, actually one day receive its proper name the chess juice variation of the Knight of Sicilian and who knows maybe it will actually become a mainline one day and uh, just like our Twitch channel <laughs> alright so I hope you are as excited as I am about seeing this move and I will also post uh, a link in the description uh, to the to the Naroditsky Zerbuch game and uh, well I hope to see more Chess Juice members, including myself, use, utilizing this move uh, to its utmost uh, and, uh, in our coming tournaments. So, opponents, you better start preparing. It's not gonna be easy. See you soon.